Welcome. I hope you are fine as I do. This time I'm going to uh, to demonstrate how to simplify an algebraic expression. Now for my reference, I'm going to use this question that was tested in the KCP for the year 2019. So before I demonstrate this question, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing to this channel will always ensure that any new material that is being uploaded, you'll be able to get it. So, by the end of this script, the runner should be able to simplify an algebraic expression. Now, in my demonstration, there are some few things that I'll explain, like for example, how to remove the brackets. I'll also explain how to put like terms together and also how to simplify fractions where necessary. And after this lesson, I'll leave you some work which you can go and do during your own free time. Now, to begin, that is the expression that was being given. And as I've said, we must first of all ensure that we remove the bracket. Because we've got brackets on the numerator part, we also have brackets on the denominator part. On the numerator part, inside the bracket, we've got 3x plus y. And there is a factor 2 which is outside here. To remove the bracket, therefore, we shall take this factor 2 and multiply that 2 by everything that is inside the bracket. And therefore, I will multiply 2 times 3x plus 2 times 2y, and then I will add 4. I will do the same for the denom denominator part. And therefore, remove the bracket in both cases, that is on the numerator and the denominator part. That is the first thing that you should do. And as I have said, you take that factor which is out of the bracket, in our case here, take 2 multiplied by 3x plus 2 multiplied by y and then add 4x. The same case for the denominator part, take 4 multiplied by x, add 4 multiplied by 2y and then subtract y. This part will give me 6x this part will give me 2y. This one will give me 4x. The other part will give me 8y. And therefore, I will have 6x plus 2y plus 4x. The denominator part I will have 4x plus 8y minus y. Now, if you look at the numerator part, we've got 6x we've got 4x. This is what we call like terms. Below you've got 8y and minus y. So if I put now my like terms together, I will have 6x plus 4x that will give me 10x plus 2y. The denominator part will give me 4x plus 8y minus y will give me 7y. And if you look at this expression here, you cannot simplify it further than that. And so the candidate could have obtained that answer straight away. That is how mathematics is simple. Remember, I'm trying to improve your mathematics skills. I will do another example. This example was question number 32 that was tested in the KCP for the year 2017. And again, you'll find that in this question, we had these first brackets here. We also had the second bracket there. And there is a common factor, 1 over 3 there, and a common factor here, 1 over 2. And so, I should first of all remove the bracket. As I've said, if you look at now what we have here, I've taken 1 over 3, 1 over 3, and multiplied by x plus 1 over 3 multiplied by 6. The second uh, part, I have 1 over 2 multiplied by x minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 
two squared. I have enclosed this first part and the second part because I'm going to deal with each part at a time. Let me begin by this first part there. If I take 1 over 3 multiplied by x, I should have 1 over 3 x. And 1 over 2 multiplied by 6, I will have 6 over 3. And that is what I have. 1 over 3 x plus 6 over 3. This is a fraction that can be simplified straight away. Because you can divide there by 3, you get 1. And 6 you divide by 3, you get 2. So if I may rewrite this expression again, this is now what I will have. 1 over 3x plus 2. 1 over 3x plus 2. Now, if I may go to the other part, I will have 1 over 2 times x. This will give me 1 over 2x minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 2 squared. Remember 2 squared is the same as 2 times 2 which is 4. And therefore I will have 1 over 2x minus 2 squared over 2. Simplify this part here. Divide there by 2, get 1. On top divide by 2, you get 2. Because 2 squared is the same as 2 times 2 which is 4. And that is why I'm getting 4 divided by 2 to get 2. So if I may write this expression here afresh, I will have 1 over 2x minus 2. Now from here, I will combine this first part and the second part taking care of my addition sign there. And so if I combine this part and the other part, that is what I will have. I've taken 1 over 3x plus 2 plus 1 over 2x minus Two, taking care of that addition sign there. Now with plus 2 and a minus 2, that one is 0. Plus 2 minus 2, that is 0. And therefore what I'm, I'm, I'm left with here, I'm left with 1 over 3x plus 1 over 2x. This now, we can solve it by getting the LCM of 3 and 2, which is 6. Take 6, divide by 3, get 2, multiply by 1, or you multiply that one by 1, you get 2x. The same case, take 6, divide by uh, 2, get 3, multiply by 1, get 3x. So the numerator part, I have 2x plus 3x, which will now be 5x over 6. 5x over 6. And again, if you look at the answers that we are given, the choice is available there, that is B. Now, I'm going to leave you some work whereby you can go and do it during your own free time. Try to do this question. It has got brackets and common factor is there. After you remove the bracket, put like terms together and then check whether you'll be able to get the answer from the four choices that you are given down there. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as I've told you to get more and more examples. Thank you very much and goodbye.